Okay, team, here we are looking at, uh, looking at a set of data, and we went ahead and gave ourselves a line of fit, which I'm going to make red. Um, now, my job here is I want to write an equation for a line that represents this data set. I want to write an equation for this line of fit, we say. Now, I need two things. I need... In order to write an equation, I can use this slope intercept form template, y equals mx plus b. And I only need two things. I need this b value, which is known as the y-intercept. It's also known as the start. I call it the start. The second thing I'm going to need is this thing called the slope, which measures the steepness of the line. Let's go ahead and start with this y-intercept. Now, I'm going to look at my line here, and I just want to find out where this crosses this y-axis. And we can see here, nothing crazy about that y-axis. It crosses right here between 6 and 8. In fact, it looks exactly like 7 to me. So I'm going to go ahead and come off to the side here, and I'm going to say that the y-intercept is... Seven. It's right there where it crosses this y-axis. Okay, there's my y-intercept. Okay. Now the next thing I need to do is find this slope, and then I can write my equation. Now to find the slope, I want to find two places where my line. I want to find two points where I know the coordinates. That's going to help me find the slope. So. I'm noticing, uh, why don't I use that y-intercept? Let's actually use that y-intercept. The coordinates there are 0, 7. And then that point might work, 1, 8. That would probably work as well. Um, other places that might work, ooh, that spot might also work because I can see that it's 4. 12, 4, 12. Now notice you don't have to use a data point. Like I don't have to use one of these data points. I can use a place on my line. Any place on my line where I know the coordinates. Let's see if there's another good place. You know, this point right here looks good as well at 12, 22. So I can use any points that I like the most. Why don't I go ahead and just use these two points right here. So I need to find rise over the run. And I can see uh, rise, well, between these two points, I had to go from 7 up to 12. From 7 all the way up to 12, which is going up a grand total of 5. So my rise is 5. My run, I had to go from an x value of 0 over to 4, from 0 to 4, from 0 all the way to 4, which is a run of 4. So my slope then, a good slope here is 5 fourths. So let's use that for my m value. Let's use that for my m value. That's 5 over Four. Now, I just need to write a slope-intercept form equation. So my answer looks like y equals mx plus b. mx plus b. Well, now I know that my slope is really, my slope or my n is 5 fourths. 5 fourths. And I know that my b value or my start, we already figured out that that's 7. Plus seven, And there is my equation. That's a slope-intercept form equation that represents this line of fit.